You're looking at a 2001 Land Rover Discovery SE. One owner, no accidents, with a clean auto check report. Brand new set of uh, Kumos on there. Running boards, dual roofs. It's got the active cornering enhancement package. It's got the original window sticker. It also has uh, many, many records from Land Rover at North Point. This truck drives out great. It looks great. We haven't even detailed this truck yet, and you can see it's got a nice shine to it. Paint's nice and glossy. All body panels are original. You do have a scratch right here, which I don't believe will buff out. Driver's side, rear door. And then on passenger side, rear bumper corner, it's got a small crack in it. But that's, uh, that's about it. The rest of the truck looks great. We sell a lot of these discoveries, and I can tell you they're, uh, they're in demand. Especially when they come nicely equipped with the running boards and dual roofs. And uh, This one's even got the original sticker. Let's get inside and check that out. Let's look at this. Uh, your area first. Your seats in the back look fantastic. Here's your uh, rear power sunroof. Your rear cargo area. Got that nice mat in the back. It's your driver's seat. Look how nice that looks. And you'll see over there a little bit of sag from the headliner that happens on every Land Rover that I know of as far as the discoveries go I think it's from that roof design but you can get a uh, headliner specialist to correct that let's go and fire this truck up see it starts right up see there starts right up no warning lights on other than I need to get some fuel Got your dual zone climate control. This vehicle's never been smoked in. Rear defrost, front uh, defrost. You got a little grid internally in this uh, windshield. Uh, now, a few things that don't work on this vehicle, I'll go ahead and explain them so we can get to the better stuff. Is your auto dimming rear view mirror, the compass isn't coming on, the home link isn't working, and the heated seats aren't coming on but your power windows work as you see here it goes down and up let's get this side it goes down and up and then here's your back one down and up and here's your down and up got your uh, dual power roofs let's take the sunshade and move it back you see it? they both open just fine so I don't know if maybe it's a fuse that's doing that. I don't know. We haven't diagnosed it as far as the heated seats. It's warm down here in Atlanta today, about 70, so I don't even need them. <laughs> driver's seats moving backwards, forwards, tilting up and down. Let's see if the seat back's working. Let's see the passenger side. The passenger side is tilting up and down, but will not move forward and back. It makes a clicking noise, so I don't know if the Something's jammed or what? Don't really know. Okay. Now, here's your original window sticker. They're originally stickered for forty thousand three ninety-five. Aside from having all these standard features here, and you'll see right here's the VIN number. It's got the cold climate package, which gives you the heated front windscreen heated front seats which currently are inoperable but you've also got the performance package which was a $2,900 package when it was new active cornering enhancement 18 inch Proline alloy wheels and that gives you the 255 55 18s 
um, which I believe that's what's on there now. We've got three keys with this one. You'll see here's your auto check report. Stereo sounds good. There's your VIN number. Calculated owner's one. Everything checks out. All your title records are proper. Odometer checks out fine. No fleet rental use, no accident history. And then in here you just look, it's just a bunch of, uh, here's all the records. Land Rover North Point over here. Just Land Rover North Point. Look at all that. So, you can tell they and not only maintained it, but also kept record of it, which is nice. So you'll get this folder full of stuff. It'll have an original window sticker in it. It'll have the car or the auto check report. And it'll have the uh, records. 255, 55, 18s. Yes. You just look at the meat. These things are just about new. They might have 100 miles on them. Nice truck. Nice truck. Let's take it for been I'm sure that I know that's what everybody's main priority is these days find a nice running vehicle those are your auto locking locks when you put in gear and get up to about five miles an hour automatically lock all your doors all right. steering feels very good oh good we got our green light I usually have to stop at that light and wait for two minutes. This truck accelerates nicely. We're doing about 45. Yeah. See right there, there's no uh, no warning indicators. Your uh, engine temperature is exactly where it's supposed to be. I'll tell you what, the air is blowing nice and cold. The heater does work. I've tried it. Like I said, it's pretty warm down here today. So uh, I can't turn it on when we get up here just to verify it. Taking these corners, it's uh, I can feel a difference in this one with that performance package. It tends to uh, tends to handle the corners a lot better with no body lean, like you feel on the regular Discovery. Wow, that was impressive. Let's see how this heat does. Well, it's hot over there. It's on high over there. I'll keep mine comfortable. That's the beauty of dual zone climate control. Let's keep mine down here. Right there, yeah, it's nice and hot coming out of there. Nice and cold here. So you know all that works. Oh my gosh, we're lucking out with all these green lights. Ah, spoke too soon. That way we can test out your brakes. As I come to a stop, I didn't feel any pulsation at all. It came to a nice, easy stop. No squealing, no screeching, no grinding. Let's look around the cabin. This wood grain dash looks great. There's no cracking in it. Leather looks very nice. What a versatile vehicle. Well, I'm gonna get a little crazy and uh, sell this one owner with records and original window sticker and no. Uh, Drivability issues, all you got is your, like I said before, your heated seats and home link and that mirror and this seat won't uh, go forward and back, it just goes up and down. Other than that, you got a great running truck with a nice new set of Kumos and 18 inch wheels and tires. Uh, you can do it at no reserve. So, if, and uh, remember this one has not been smoked in or in an accident. So, uh, make sure you place a bid because you're gonna miss out on a real nice discovery if you don't. So bid often and bid high. Feel free to call me if you got any questions. My name's Jimmy. I can be reached at 770-990-9475 or you can reach Joe at 678-907-7363. Thank you for viewing our auction and good luck and happy bidding.